Hi, on this episode of Tweaks with Tweak, we're going to make little baby chicks out of tubes and play balls and some googly eyes. Gather up your supplies because these are fun and so cute. Join us. Hi, this is Tweak. Spring is here, the holidays are coming, and I started playing around with paper tubes. In playing around with tubes, I came up with different little creatures, and three of them were bunnies. I used a paper towel tube, and I used a tube that came out of some bubble wrap. And I also used, because I couldn't find any more bubble wrap, I used a packing tube that you can purchase at the craft store. And this bunny, as you can tell, she's gargantuan. And I was going to work on a bunny today, but I came up with a better idea. And that was working with a regular toilet paper tube. Yes. So I was playing around with the different tubes. And one of the toy balls was kicking around along with the tube. And I went, you know what? That's a chick. Yes, it is. We're going to make chicks today. So let me show you how that's done. The supplies you'll need for this project are tubes paper towel tube, a toilet paper tube, or a packing tube. Today I'm using the smaller tube. You'll need some felt, lace, ribbons, and some googly eyes, beads, however you want to decorate your chick, and a glue gun for sure, because we're going to glue these chicks together. So to start, I'm going to take this toilet paper tube. So I'm going to cut it in half. I'm not even going to measure. I'm just going to eyeball and put a slice in the tube to get it started so I can get my scissors in there into the cardboard. I don't care too much if they're even because I make a chick here and they come in all different little sizes, all tiny. But now I've got two sides and I've got two of the toy balls. These are plastic and the reason why I chose them because I like the color and because they sat nicely on the, the top of the tube. So we're going to work from there. I guess I'm making two at a time here. Now I need some felt. I've got some yellow felt and what I wanted was just enough felt to cover th around the tube. So this little piece here, which is about a little over a quarter of a sheet of felt. So I'm going to cut it in half and I'll have enough to make my two chicks. Okay, we're going to take this tube and we're going to make a chick. Line it up on the edge with the fabric and the tube. Then I'm going to start gluing. I'm going to a little bit of hot glue and just going to go around as I go. There we go. Done. One side and I just press it to make sure it adheres. Okay, then we're going to Throw some glue up at the top and I'm going to flip that edge of the fabric in. Okay, I'm just going to let that adhere to the top. Now I'm going to go to the inside rim and run a bead of glue along the inside and I'll flap the fabric in to cover up that jagged edge I made when I cut it out. Be careful, you don't burn yourself. Now you've got your chick body. Next comes its head. Now I'm going to run a bead of glue around the top. You don't have to worry too much about how messy it is because I'm going to cover it up with a little decorative collar. Just want the ball to stick. So it's felt and glue and plastic. So I'm just running a bead along the top. I'm going to place the ball so that the writing on the ball is kind of underneath. There's writing on both sides and I'm going to put the writing, least amount of writing up on the top because I'm going to put hair up there to cover that up. So and I'm just pressing firmly and the chick now has its head. I'm going to do this one quickly too. Hold for a couple seconds. It's adhered. Let's say I want to add some ribbon. Now I'm looking at the other chicks I made. I've got pink, blue, green, peach. So let's do, I haven't done a purple one yet. I've got the stretchy elastic ribbon that I like. And what I'm going to do here is just measure around the chick. And so I'll need two pieces about that length. 
Now I wanted to do a different color too. Let's see, a blue and a pink. I didn't, I did a light pink, didn't I? Let's do a bright pink too. Already done a bright green. So I'll measure this chick. Okay, whatever color you want to use. And we're gonna go around the edge, right along that seam where the ball meets up with the top of the tube. I'm not gonna do it all at once because I wanna to try to make sure it stays straight. So start at the back seam. I'm just gonna let it rest along the edge of the neck area and let the two meet up and call it good. Second one, same thing. Next come wings. That's when I'm going to take some excess yellow that I had. And I'm really not going to mess around too much. I'm just going to fold in a piece. How big do you want the wings on these peeps? It's up to you. I'm just going to cut out, think of a teardrop is what I'm thinking of. Two wings. Let's do you first, Binky. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach the wings. Let's wait, where's the front? I'm using the seam as the back of the bird. Okay, then here. I tap it in. The chick has wings. All right, next chick. We need two more wings, chicky. Let's see what size your wings will be. There we have our wings. Next step. So I have this lace. I've this lace has been such a go-to for me. And I'm just going to measure again around the chick. Now, since these are both the same, it seems like I would just smarten up and cut two same strips. So <laughs> let's just do that. One. Two right about in there. Okay. Here you go, Pinky, you're first. Coming, starting at the back again. I'm gonna lay down a little bit of glue and then I'm gonna let this come in and just lay. Use the ribbon as your guide. Let's go through the front here. That helps to tack down the wing too. So it's gonna stay put. I'm just smiling, because when I figured out how to do these chicks, I just thought, oh my gosh, they are so cute. And there's hers is ready. You're next. And on comes the lace collar. Every chick wears a lace collar, right? <laughs> Well, in my decorations, they do. We have wings. We have collars. What's next? Well, you're looking kind of cute. We need, well, let's work on your face. To make the beaks, I just take a square and I want a little bit of a, of a little tongue in there. I suppose it should be pink. I guess I'd have to look at a real chick to see what color their tongue was, but in this instance, I'm using just a little triangle of yellow. And then I just place this little teeny triangle somewhere on the orange. Now I want to try to make this look like a beak, so I'm going to come up along the edge. However you think the little beak should look, and it's going to look good. And I like a little bit of a pucker there, and I'm going to cut around that little fold there and come straight out. And then we'll see what we have here. The point is to get a triangle with a little bit of beak over the top. And now I'm just going to take this, find the front of the bird, and I'm just going to lay some glue. It's we're up to you where you go. I'm coming about halfway, I think. Just lay some glue right there. I'm just going to set it on the glue and just hold it till the glue sets up. I like the looks of the mouths going beep. <laughs> So see, I'm going to let it sit in just a matter of moments. You have a little beak. Let's do the next one. Here again, just take a piece of yellow and make a triangle. Now I need a piece of orange. And I'm going to start at the bottom, cut up, and let's see what we got. So let's put it on the bird. Lay it on there. Let it sit. Okay, so we've got our beaks. Next comes eyeballs. These here, I'm using googly eyes. 
can pull out two sets of googly eyes. And here again, I'm going to put glue, a little dab of glue on either side of the beak. You can put it as close to the beak or as far the, from the beak as you want. Just a tiniest dab of glue and then lay an eyeball on top. Other side. I just tap it to make sure the little eye pupil comes down. Your turn. And we've got our chick eyeballs. <laughs> okay, next comes tails. Here again, I'm just taking a little bit of fabric. It's even one of these scraps might be good. And I'm just going to fashion out a tail. It could be triangular, it could be square. And then I'm going to lay it on the back. And so when the bird sits, it'll come out a little bit, covering up that back seam too. And now I'm going to cut some feathers into it. Tail. We've got wings. Time for you to have a tail. Now, it's some of my birdies, I had the tail going up. See that? So I think I'll mimic that this time. What's next? I like having little bits of hair on the top of the chick's head. Here, I'm just taking a scrap. I'm going to cut some slices into it. That's not too much hair. I'm going to just throw that right on there. And I'm covering up that little bit of writing that's on the ball. And then to give her some personality, I take my Sharpie and add a couple of eyebrows. And that's her. Let's see the little Mr. Purple. What kind of hairdo are you going to have? have a real funky hairdo. I think that's what I'm going to do though. <laughs> so I'm going to pin this together a little bit. It could be a different color if you want. It could have ooh, real feathers would have been kind of cool. The feathers you get at the craft store. But I'm using stuff I had kicking around the house. So if I attach this to his head, I'm going to cut it back a little bit. Okay, see, now I'm liking it. And I'm going to add it to his head, just like that. Okay, we're going to have one chick with a weird hairdo, but we like him. I'm just going to let this sit. And I'm going to press it in. <laughs> what did I do to you? Oh, no. You have a little bit of wiggle room if you want to position it. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. That's still cute as heck. What do you think? Should I change everybody's hair to match this one? That's really cute. And now I need to add a couple eyebrows. What am I missing? Ah, I'm missing feet. With feet I'm going to take, I had this off color. That's kind of a light brown. Let's do... I got lots of it. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut two triangles out of the bottom of this piece of felt. And that's going to represent their toes. And now I'm going to shape it a little bit. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going because I need four feet for two birds. Another one. So I'm just going to front of the tube, put two dabs of glue. Okay, so I've got two plops inside there, and I'm just going to, which two feet am I using? These two? I'm just going to tuck one in there. you got a little bit of wiggle room to see how far out you want them to hang, so I want this one to go in a little bit. And once that glue is set up, you've got feet. <laughs> you've got feet. That means you can start running around. Okay, Pinky, your turn. You got feet. Oh my goodness. Okay, and one more thing. This is when you look at your chicks. I would like for their mouth to be a little less open. So I'm going to put just the tiniest, tiniest touch of glue 
in the back of his throat and just pull the felt in a little, little bit. See? <laughs> there, I like that better. Also, it's kind of fun to pull the wings up a little bit. Just give a little tiny, tiny dot of glue right there. I'm just going to pull up the felt to flap it just a little bit. Gives them a little more dimension. Just, I just want to barely touch it. I don't want it too much. I'm going to flap up his wing. Hold it for a second. So that's the things that you can do. I think I'm going to stop putzing. Although I may go through and reflap all the wings, I don't know. <laughs> For right now, meet each other, beep beep. There you have it. We just made two little chicks using household items and they're ready to join the others to brighten up our seasonal decor. So if you like what you've seen here today, give a like, subscribe to our channel, and also remember to ring that bell so you can see what's coming up on Tweaks with Tweak. Until then, happy beep beep. See you again.